You're a natural predator. Oh, that, that Ryu's weapon is empty. Yeah. He's catching his breath, so he's just gonna go into Overwatch. Luckily, I think the only things left on the map are the sectoids. Nice. And there we go. Terry secured the last canister of meld. Alright, I'm pretty desperate for Ryu to get some hits in. <laughs> Gonna so just blow up that truck? Yeah, why not? Gotta destroy something. Oh, you hit it. yeah, you hurt something there. Did it I die? Did indeed. Yeah, he killed one. Uh oh, so so Sakura is unloaded as well. Yeah. What's making that noise? Kaboom! Yep, yeah, and. Well, Ryu got his fill of explosions. Let's see. Should be one more. Oh, crap. Ooh, right there. Is that... Oh, no. Oh, no! Ryu! No! Well, that wasn't my smartest idea. Ryu! I don't understand. How could he be right there when it exploded and it not kill him? The answer lies in the heart of battle, obviously. No. Terry Bogard will and avenge him. I, and I believe it was right before this mission that I said so far we've only lost one person. It's true. You you were you were right you were right to be you were right to be to disapprove, Nick, I'm sorry. <laughs> well I'll say a lot of things about Ryu and one of them is that he couldn't hit anything. Well, that's true. He was he was a poor shot. Unfortunately, we also lost a medal with him. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Now, how do you get more medals to award? Uh, they can just be awarded after particularly good uh, missions. Okay. But, oh, we got someone got a promotion. Ah, Sakura's, Sakura's now squatting. Supported, promoted to the support. Exactly what I needed. Excellent. And Cami rightfully was not promoted because she didn't do anything. <laughs> Additional awards. Oh, the blade, Sonya Blade Memorial Award, and the Mortal Kombat badge. Now we can do the floater and secret autopsies. And remember, we can you can do those autopsies instantly. Yes. We will be in touch, Commander. So, speaking of that, let's go there. Also, done. I'm sure you can make the connection yourself. We've designated this particular specimen as a floater. The research team is continuing in its efforts to determine how the aliens prevented the organic tissue from rejecting the mechanical components, as they seem to work in perfect harmony with one another. I, so apparently I just... a big thing is understanding how bio and mechanical um, technology can work together. Okay. I didn't know that. Well, it's 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 an, it's actually in real medical science. There's a um, it's actually a uh, a big thing. It's finding uh, <clears throat> like for like medical implants, like um, like when they like say like when they put like a metal rod in someone's you know limb to reinforce or whatever, they have to use like they have to use, they 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 have to use certain types of uh, metal of uh, certain types of substances that don't cause like chemical reactions. Hmm. I see. And, and of course, you think of like when something is like you know, like you know, an organ or whatever. You know, like the, you have to prevent you know the person's own, uh, yeah, person's own immune system from you know tearing it up. As frightening and vicious as this species is on the battlefield, it is hard not to feel some sympathy for them on the dissection table. The specimen has been subjected to extensive biomedical modifications, some of which were undoubtedly quite painful and intrusive. The combination of living tissue and mechanical components give the creature the look of a cruel, half-finished experiment. Most of the subject's internal organs have been replaced with a mechanical life support system, 
that mimics their original functionality. A rather conventional propulsion system has been grafted to the subject's torso, although the power, supply, power cells supplying the necessary thrust are extremely advanced by our own standards. I have removed a number of neural implants from the subject that appear to aid in the evasion of project, incoming projectile fire. The, technology t the engineering team has already suggested several ways in which this technology might benefit our soldiers. You may find additional information about the combat capabilities of this species by targeting one in the field and using the unit analysis view. So this gives us the defensive matrix. So like the sectoid um, things, they burn out after one, and it will let us dodge a couple shots automatically. Okay. So it's the defensive equivalent. Then. Yeah. The seeker wreck. Despite its physical appearance, this machine doesn't seem to be made up of any organic components. Its surface has oh, an nice. unusual metallic composition that somehow interacts with the vapors it releases for concealment. It's actually just a machine. Mm -hmm. Although each of the autopsies we've conducted on the various alien species could be considered unusual, the latest specimen continues to push the boundaries of what we might define that characteristic. It's been referred to as a seeker by our soldiers in the field due to its propensity for tracking and engaging with single targets. Its actual means of attack is quite shocking. Once it has located a target, the seeker physically seizes the victim and remains attached until it is either removed by force or the target expires. As one might imagine, this is an extraordinarily disturbing situation for both the victim and anyone witnessing the attack. The, challenging, the challenge in stopping the seeker comes from its inherent agility and nimbleness, making it difficult to intercept before it manages to reach its intended target. We believe the micromotors employed in its design are responsible for this notable degree of mobility. The seeker has also been observed deploying a type of defensive smoke screen, making it even more troublesome to engage during the limited window of opportunity when it is immobile. Respirator implant, ghost grenade, and mim mimetic skin are now available for creation. Cool. I assume mimetic skin is some sort of, like, camouflage. It is. So the respirator implant is um, fits in the item slot for soldiers, and it gives them... Um, uh, the ability to resist poison and um, strangling. Oh, okay. Oh, and that's, I assume that's like a foundry thing for yeah. your armor. So does that uh, like no, make this, you? This is this is goes in the item slot. Oh, in the item slot. Okay, but that would make you immune to those secret attacks, I guess. Yeah. Okay. The ghost grenade. Um, contains Illyrium infused particles that when disfused onto our soldiers will cause them to become invisible. Particles will lose their Illyrium charge after a brief time and competing energy sources such as weapons fire will disrupt them. It's an invisibility grenade that That's ju that's just silly. <laughs> invisibility away when you uh, shoot your weapon. Well, you know, that's that's that it would be unsporting otherwise. Yeah. And mimetic skin, as you guessed, allows you to uh, kind of blend in. So when they're in cover, enemies without special capabilities will not be able to target the soldier. Leaving cover or firing will break the concealment. Okay. Ooh, car we got a new other a new option. I see carapace armor. Yes. That's unfortunately 12 days. Wow. So we're going to go with the experimental warfare for now, finish that project up. Alrighty. Well, that was fast. As Did we, we have a research did our research for the alien weapon fragments and the other materials recovered in the field, we've come to realize how the aliens manage to make these substances work in conjunction with one another. While reducing the size of these components is often a challenge in and of itself, we decided to focus on our initial efforts on a weapon more suited to deployment on our interceptors. This cannon was designed to co concentrate energy within a small target area and should be capable of punching through an un the armored holes of alien craft. In addition, we've also passed a number of interesting conceptual designs onto the engineering team. Dr. Shen feels confident that, given the appropriate resources and testing facility, he can bring many of these concepts to life. So the foundry is now available for construction, Reaper rounds, flashbang grenades, and the Phoenix cannon. I'm pretty sure Reaper rounds and flashbang grenades are new. Are new. Yes. 
Reaper Rounds um, are an early game uh, item slot upgrade. It allows you to cause extra damage as long as you're using conventional weapons. And less accurate at long range. Uh, the rounds will not work with pistols. Okay. Foundry, which is going to allow us to improve items. Uh, yeah, that, that's, a, that's another base facility. Yeah. The Phoenix Cannon, which is an alternative to the avalanche missiles we have. Um, they automatically hit, but the ship has yep. to get very close to the other ship okay. to use. Okay. And the Flashbang Grenade. Uh, just like, it's like the, like an offensive smoke grenade. It causes, okay. instead of giving you bonus cover and concealment, it gives, gives them, them penalties. a penalty okay. to aim and movement. Okay. How much, you get much use out of those? Um, I do, but they're situational. And they're better used, so, uh, one of the specialties for the heavy mm -hmm. is that they get double the grenades. And oh, can, yeah, uh, right. at a certain spec, they can carry two different kinds of grenades. Oh, yeah, okay. So you can actually make a support-based heavy that carries, say, the ghost grenade, the flash grenade, poison grenades. Interesting. They're all very interesting. So I can research beam weapons or the arc thrower. And I'm feeling right now that I should... Finish up the arc thrower. Okay. Do I'm... we have that? Uh, we have the containment facility under construction, right? Yeah, that's going to be done in just a couple days. So I like that about Dr. Shen. He's very philosophical about the overall cost of um, technology. We've gotta excavate now. It's a, it's different. So with the access lift, we can evacuate these areas. Excavate. Excavate. Rather. We're not. We're, we're, we're not. We're not taking the rock to safety. <laughs> Uh, excavate these areas and build stuff here. So I'm going to try and f have to figure out what I want to do. Because I do want a foundry. Oh yeah, you definitely want to, yeah. So for right now, how's I'm going to wait until I get some more cash. How's, your, how's, the, how's the power situation? Uh, we're almost, almost, uh, right up on power. Well, you might want you might want to clear out that steam so you can get the 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 geothermal p plant then. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You think I should go ahead and do that now? Yeah, but it doesn't hurt to be plan ahead. Yeah. All right. Contact detected. Uh oh. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, just yeah. Sometimes you can take a, U a UFO is like landed and you can like take it intact on the ground. Yeah. So this is that is be more dangerous because since they haven't crashed, they're like the entire crew will be intact. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Here we go. Make items available. Oh. So here's Sergeant Masters, Ken Masters. Should we take uh, him in addition to? I I I bring I bring an assault. On a, I'd bring. I'd recommend bringing in a, at least one assault character since you're gonna have to be going in, into a UFO that may have a lot of guys. Yeah. Should, do you think I should go back and build another medic pack for Sakura to carry? Are you gonna bring two support people? Normally, I bring one support for every assault trooper I bring. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I mean, you you know your style better than I do. Yeah, that might be a bit too cautious though, and. Ken can use three medic packs now. Yeah. You know what? I think we need to train some more replacements. Alright. 